Hey guys, All In Crypto here and welcome back ladies and gentlemen for another YouTube video. Today has been a bit of a better day guys. We are now um, starting to recover from yesterday's sell off and I just want to say before I go on uh, and we dive into any charts or any kind of um, news and information that I have for you on this video, a big congratulations to anybody yesterday that bought the derp. Um, because one thing that I was, and it always amazes me, is people literally watched certain coins and, and some even worse yesterday sell off by about 30%. Some altcoins sold off by about 30%. I mean, VeChain went down to, you know, an unbelievably low level. And what I saw in the comments section was a lot of brave individuals um, that instead of going off what they see on the news and, 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 and watching the price and all prices, and I tried to re-emphasize that to you, um, in yesterday's video is it is really a distraction from what's going on underneath the surface here. Um, we spoke uh, in yesterday's video about how, you know, there was something far, far bigger than than, than making a quick buck going on here. Uh, we've not only caught on it, but the rest of the space, we, we listened to a clip where Charles essentially said, um, you know, the, the, the cryptocurrencies offer something to humanity that, you know, has far more than a monetary value attached to it. And if you bought the dip yesterday, guys, you're up around about 30% right now if you manage to get in at the low. Now, I didn't manage to get in at the low. My orders, for some reason, didn't get filled. Even though I had orders set here on some exchanges, they didn't get filled. I'm around about 15 to 20%, a little bit more than 20% on some of the um, bags that I managed to pick up yesterday up right now. So I'm very happy, and I know there's a lot of you guys out there. Well done, guys. Um, you know, you you, you know, you, in, in it, you looked into the eye of the storm, um, and you saw, saw it for what it was. Before we go on with this video, we're going to mention a number of things. Now, you are still in a downtrend for Cardano. Um, and until you break it, um, you know, that is the suggested direction. Now, how do you break it? Well, first, you need to get above this EMA, the 20 EMA on the 4 hourly. Then you need to get above it on the daily. Uh, and then you need to, of course, get above it um, on the weekly. And we did say to you a long time ago, um, and you are above it on the weekly, that you are going to have a... Uh, reacquainting moment with this EMA. For those of you who've been following me for long enough, we, we, we said that well over here, that you're so overextended from this EMA, you are going to come back and test it. And we knew that based on previous history. And you're there now, guys, which leads me to believe, and I could be absolutely wrong here, that the recovery is on right now, guys. You guys know that I said this was the bottom for Bitcoin. Um, we've been somewhat right, to be honest with you. Can you give me that? I think so, perhaps. And I do think you're going to recover from here. There is absolutely, and we'll we'll see it coming, the possibility of more downside. But I am as bullish as I have ever been on the crypto space. Um, and when I see the on-chain metrics across the board of strong hands popping up all over the place, and, and, and there really are some seriously, seriously strong hands forming, um, the longer the crypto space is here, the more people are willing to just hold on to their crypto. Understanding the vision that was originally put in place by Satoshi, that is now sort of mutated across the board. Before I go on, and, and, and uh, we, we did speak about it in yesterday's video, I want to read you a quote from Henry Ford, and hopefully this sinks into some of uh, your heads, perhaps. I mean, it's, it, it, it really sums everything up, and we are going to make videos on this topic a lot more frequently, because I believe it's something that everybody out there should know about. The quote reads from Henry Ford, it is well enough that the people of the nation do not understand our banking and monetary system. For if they did, I believe there would be a revolution before tomorrow morning. Let that sink in, guys, because that's exactly why we're in crypto, or certainly why I'm in crypto. Because I am voting with my money, uh, with my value for a different system. Now, you do need to get above... You need to break above this descending resistance. This does look, if you look at the wicks here, guys, what this shows you uh, and the candle body closes is that you have a lot of buyers coming in. Cardano is strong. I want you to ignore the actual, for some reason, coin market caps playing up at the moment. But what I really want to do in this video, guys, is, is, is tell you that, you know, regardless of the price and hopefully show you that the price is really just noise because we have an unbelievable amount of progress being made on Cardano. You know, we know that the first cards, smart contracts are now running on um, or, or interacting with Plutus on the Cardano network, on the test net, we're here. And we have some big, big news coming out tomorrow um, that I think has come out just at the right time for a recovery. We need to get above this EMA, guys, and stay above it. I do think Bitcoin has bottomed out as well. Um, we looked in yesterday's video on our, on our Bitcoin-specific video at the fact that you always have a kind of moment like this in your uh, bull cycle. Um, you In the kind of blow-off uh, 
end year of your four-year cycle theory, you always have a moment where things look a little bit hairy, whether that was in 2013 when the market sold off by 76%, I think, only to go on and make 177% in gains, or whether that was 2017 where you sold off by about 40% and everyone was saying a similar thing. So I think this is just a half time for the bull run, guys. And I think that if you picked up Cardano up yesterday, the coming months are going to be very fruitful for you. Um, but what I want to remind everyone of uh, is there are big things coming, guys. Not only do you have smart contracts, you have deals being laid, made left, right and centre. We, we spoke to you a while ago about the fact that John O'Connor has just secured another deal in Africa that is potentially to do with coffee and supply chains. Um, they've got so much going on, guys. I mean, I just saw an offline transaction demo for Cardano, including ADA uh, and other native uh, assets. That kind of blew me away. Support for any um, Android phone of the last five years. A few things uh, to work out, but the use cases are crazy. I'm telling you right now, there's a reason we're so bullish on Cardano, guys. Uh, big Cardano news in Africa with John O'Connell. It, things just keep getting better and better and better. And tomorrow, they're going to release their Cardano 360 event. Here is a sneak peek of what is going to be um, involved in that. Join us on Thursday for the new edition of Cardano 360, your monthly tour of the expanding Cardano universe. We'll bring you the latest news on the Alonzo testnet rollouts on the road to smart contracts, and we'll have more partnership news. We'll have an update on the Plutus Pioneer program, and we'll deep dive into the world of NFTs. Meanwhile, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and you'll get an alert as soon as we go live. Join us on Thursday. So we've got new partnerships on the horizon that are going to be released tomorrow. We've got the NFTs. We've got so much going on. Um, and there's so much that they don't even cover in here because it's still being worked on. You know, it, it, it's the future is a bright one, guys. Uh, remember that, that we're there's something far bigger than just money at play here. Um, you know, Cardano, like I say, I've just shown you is in a descending resistance. We are going to be doing a, another... Um, Elliott Wave Theory in regards to Cardano and exactly where we are. Um, I think we have had our ABC correction now following that third wave. And we are about to continue on in this bull run. I do genuinely believe that, guys. I mean, the more I look at um, Bitcoin, the, the, the kind of happier I am with everything. So that is largely all I have for you in this video, guys. There's a lot of nonsense going on with uh, CoinMarketCap at the moment. It says we're at $89 billion. It's been a while since we've been there. Um, the prices on the individual tokens seem to be fine. Um, go and use CoinGecko. It's about $1.39 trillion that we're at at the moment. Well, the market's up about 11%. And that just goes to show you, um, you know, that these things do recover. We've had significantly worse sell-offs. I know people, I said on yesterday's video that remember it's just money, guys. The reason I said that wasn't to say, oh, it doesn't really matter. You know, I've got so much money, I don't care. Um... If the price goes down or up that wasn't the point the reason i said that was because it people get very emotional on days like that and in the grand scheme of things um you know there's a lot more things out there that are worth more than money essentially like your health your family their health etc etc so i just tried to put that into perspective for you so that is all i have for you in this video guys it looks like ada is trying to break above its cma right now isn't it people don't like emas but i mean if you look they've shown you exactly where resistance is on a number of occasions and every time you come down and sell off you know it, you can actually trade emas quite sufficiently and until you get above this descending resistance guys um that's when we've really confirmed a breakout and, and and this can happen overnight by the way guys the same way that you know we entered a, a very quick bear or, or are we calling it a bear market now we're calling it a short-term bear market essentially that lasts you know um not very long but it's a bear market in a bull market if that makes sense um, so we are ex anticipating that you know this show gets back on the road, um, but you are lar largely correlated to what Bitcoin does right now. So we're watching Bitcoin very closely, um, and ultimately, you know, it looks like Bitcoin is really starting to starting to recover now. There are a few patterns that are actually playing out in Cardano. Um, you do have an inverse head and shoulders, or what you could certainly count as an inverse head and shoulders um, on the at one hourly chart. However, I'd like to see. Um, this play out on a, on a bigger time frame because an hourly chart is yes it can be somewhat accurate and a kind of precursor for what's to come on the bigger time frames um, but you know usually you like to see that confirmed on the bigger time frames so that is all I have for you in this video guys I'm going to continue to accumulate I'm going to continue to dollar cost average into my positions and I think in hindsight when we zoom out at the end of the year 
um, or we zoom out, you know, in a year or two's time, this is going to have been a, a an epic buying opportunity that you know many people missed out on because they were too scared and they didn't really understand the underlying principles um, and fundamentals of this project and the overall crypto space. So I'm going to love and leave you guys. Remember, Henry Ford said it is well enough that people of the nation do not understand our banking system and monetary uh, our banking and monetary system for if they did i believe there would be a revolution before tomorrow morning we are going to try and educate the people about this uh, on this channel and you know hopefully uh, make disciples out of everyone and, and 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 everyone can you know we can all start perhaps waking up together to the fact that you know the the monetary systems and the and, and the banking systems that we have in place today are completely corrupt um and really the main tool that is used to to manipulate the masses um you know it, it, it's the kind of slave driver now really is is uh money so yeah we're not going to get too um tin four hatty on the on this channel but we are going to certainly drop in some uh, subtle reminders perhaps of, of of the bigger picture that's all i have for you in this video ladies and gentlemen well done to everybody that bought the dip yesterday give yourself a pat on the back and um, you deserve a lot more than a pat on the back because you know I'm sure you are going to reap the rewards uh, down the road and, and, and you will get what you deserve. That's all I have for you in this video, guys. Enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. I'm going to love and leave you on that note and hopefully I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the content, a like is always appreciated. So is a comment and I will see you tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. Goodbye.